we're gonna go through four ways how you can create a dating app. Now we're gonna go through the key features, how this is possible, and how to begin today. To begin, make sure to get the guide down below. If you're going from idea to app and you wanna pick the right tech stack for your project, go down below and sign up for it, it's free. What are the four platforms we're going to consider? We're gonna look at Flutterflow, Glide, Bubble, and Share Tribe, surprisingly. So let's talk about how is this possible with Flutterflow? Well, we first have to understand what a, a dating app pretty much is, right? It's a matching service. So you're having supply and demand similar to a marketplace. So depending on the type of dating app that you're going to have, it really depends on what kind of platform that you need. You need to decide, is it gonna be open when they sign up, creating a profile, they're gonna be able to search indefinitely, are you doing custom matching specifically for your audience? Those are the details that you're going to have to figure out. In the comment section down below, why are you creating a data a dating app? Why are you not using Bumble or Tinder? Why you, do you want to create your own? That's really important to decide on which one would be great for you. So Flutterflow is going to allow you to do this because of all the different features. You're going to be able to create a really good experience, and it's meant or a mobile app, so that's one option. In the past, we've seen people use Glide to create their very own MVP or MVB, Minimal Viable Build, that's what we say around here, to create their very first version of a dating app, and it worked. It had messaging, you could do this with Glide. To scale it, I probably wouldn't use Glide, but if I'm just trying to start the community, I'm thinking about a lot of these things, I might do that. Another option is Bubble. Now, there's actually right here, I just looked for it, there's a Tinder clone right here that you can buy. It's $2.99 for a standard license and $4.99 for developer. Now, you could do this yourself and just go through the, the different tutorials. People have this on YouTube, how to create your very own, or you can save tons of time and just buy a template. Now, what are some of the downside if you just buy a template like this? Well, when you're buying a template, if it's Flutterflow, Bubble, whatever, depends on the developer of how they structure the application and how not only visually, but the logic on the back end works. So if you're getting the template, you're going to have to decide for yourself, is that something that I like? Can I go with another developer's thought process and understand what they're doing? Do they have enough documentation that I can read over and then be able to use it myself? Or do I want to build it from scratch to be able to control more of it or to have very specific workflows or onboarding or just functionality in my application. It's important to consider that. So where are you in your journey? Are you just learning no code? Are you a business owner and you're looking for no code as a solution for your idea in testing this out? It's really important because that allows you to decide what platform is best for you. Now, the, another idea that you could be using or a platform is using ShareTribe. Now you might say, wait a minute, doc, this is for launching a marketplace. How is this for dating? Well, remember, we talked about at the beginning, supply and demand. So if depending on your audience, you're trying to match up or you're trying to have supply and demand, you need basically buyers and sellers pretty much. And Share Tribe, if you're having a one-sided market or two-sided market, you could do that with a dating app. For example, if you have a landing page and you're saying, this is who we're attracting into our community for dating, who are you looking for? That's one way to just get an the intake form, and then you're matching them manually or have an algorithm to get the different listings or different people that they could be matched to. Or you could have a two-sided where you're having more people being able to search and want to connect with people. And guess what? The messaging, the connecting, just like it would be like a marketplace, you can do a lot with that with ShareTribe. Now, again, it's it, it's going to have more of the functionality for a full marketplace if you're going to be buying and selling, but still connection. You just wouldn't have pricing, but it would still be a connection. People searching, trying to find matches. It's the same kind of mechanics. But what you need to first decide is, first of all, what's the main functionality? What does your what's your application going to do? What is your value proposition? Why do people care about your application? The next thing that you need to ask yourself is, is there other competition out there? Why would they choose you having a Tinder clone or a Bumble clone? Who are you serving? Why is it so different that people need to sign up for you? 
why do you need an application? Why would you not just build something on uh, something like Heartbeat where it's a community and people can match and mingle and be able to have that functionality? Those are things to consider before you even decide on what platform. Pay the money, learn all these things, take the time because your time is valuable. And the last thing is, does anyone want this? Will anyone pay for these services? Why would they do this? Why would they want to go on your application, download it, do all of these things and not join a community or be on another social network for dating? Those are all things to consider before you start building. We see this time and time again with our students and our clients. A lot of times people are very quick to buy a template or ready to just start. But you have to do market research. You have to do all of these things to see if it's viable. If people want this before you take your time and energy and start picking a platform. If you're interested in starting Flutterflow, there's going to be a link above my head. And if you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section down below.